embryology this is uh, the common uh, uh, so when a child develops there is usually a common cloacal opening a common cloaca for both the hind gut uh, the gut exit and the uh, uh, urinary tract so it uh, they both open into a common channel called cloaca when the child develops this is called the cloacal plate so as the child develops something called the recto uh, recto urethral uh, plate divides the uh, urinary tract from the rectum uh, from the top down that is it imaginates from the sides and from the top also so once the uh, septum completely uh, reaches the cloacal membrane at that point of time the, the cloacal membrane completely disintegrates and forms two separate openings the uh, separate opening for uh, the urethra and separate opening for the rectum in females usually the vaginal vagina and the uterus occupies this place in females that is why the classification is different for males and females so as a child later develops the perineal body grows in size completely separates the uh, urinary system and the rectal uh, rectal body so any uh, when the rectal urethral plate disintegrates before it reaches the cloacal membrane uh, the various forms of endocrine malformation uh, result as a result of the uh, rectal urethral plate so how do we classify uh, endocrine malformation so this is the latest classification based on crickenbeck is called the Crickenbeck International Classification. Here, broadly classified into major and minor regional uh, variants. So, major, uh, uh, the most common anomalies are listed here, and the regional or rare variants are list listed separately. So, uh, uh, perineal or cutaneous fistula is common for both males and females. That is, a fistulous opening not in the normal anal region uh, opens up into the perineum. That is called perineal or cutaneous fistula. Recto urethral fistula is where the rectum opens into the urethra through a small fistula. This is seen only in males, not in females. The types are bulbar urethra or prosthetic urethra. So it opens up into either the bulbar urethra or the prosthetic urethra. Based upon the location of the fistula, it is divided into bulbar and prosthetic. Recto vesical fistula is seen both in males and females. The bladder opens directly into the bladder. The rectum opens into the bladder. It is a high variant of inertial malformation. Uh, again, vestibular fistula, as we have discussed, it is seen only in females. The rectum opens into the vestibule, that is an opening outside the vaginal opening, but inside the uh, la labia, between the labia, but outside the vaginal opening. We will discuss about that also. That is called recto vestibular fistula, it is seen only in females. Cloica again is seen only in females, where all the three openings, the uh, there is only a single uh, perineal opening seen between the labia. The single opening houses both the urinary system the exit for the vagina and the exit for the rectum that is all the three openings will be seen in a single hole